flying is not just a means of transportation. It is an experience. It is a hotel. It is a breakfast, a lunch and a dinner. And all above the clouds. And on the ground you have the lounges. So let's check out the Qatar Airways Business Class Lounge. First class. Business class. First class. Alright, let's check out both in Doha, Qatar. It's coming up. Have you ever seen a fountain in a lounge which alone already covers the area other lounges have in total? The Al Marjan lounge for business class passengers in Doha makes this dream come true. Up the stairs you find the main restaurant with a large buffet and bar selection of hmm, almost everything. I also love a good cake and here it's hard to decide where to start. Keep that in mind when you order on the inbound flight to Doha. Leave some space for all these delicious things. Back down again, there is a large area for resting and relaxing. Somewhat hidden, you find also some kind of lounges where you can try to relax for a few hours. Not super comfortable, but okay if you badly need to close your eyes. Depending on the time, the lounge can be very crowded or can be virtually empty. On the other far end of the lounge there is a second a la carte restaurant with sandwiches, salads and some sweets again. I always get the Caesar salad in here. If you have several hours in the lounge, you definitely have the time to try both restaurants. The Asafwa first lounge has a different character. It is smaller and more private and has a different style of fountain. I watched it for quite some time and was still fascinated. There are also two restaurants in here. The smaller one is a sushi buffet style restaurant where you can also get some cold cuts for breakfast. Then there is a bar with, to be honest, a rather limited selection of wines and champagnes. Actually, the champagnes were the same as in business class and when asking for red wines they had 3 or 4 available. Good to get tipsy, but doesn't impress me too much. Much more, I was impressed by the a la carte restaurant next to the bar. As you can see, starters such as the soup and bread, mains such as the steak and also the dessert were wow. Plan to relax here, since everything is getting prepared right on time. So in the end, which one is better? Well, it depends on what you're up to. I personally love the sweet selection in business class, but also the fine dining in first class had its charm. By the way, Qatar offers on some short and mid-range flights just economy and first class tickets, which is basically business seating with first lounge access. If you want to visit the first lounge at a rather ordinary price level, look out for those flights. See you out there, you're Alex from GaiaDreams.com